Today we are looking at my Genie Accelerator Screw Drive Garage Door Opener. Uh, this is 20 plus years old. Um, it's a great opener, but we've had a lot of really goofy, frustrating problems with it. Instead of searching out all these videos separately, I'm gonna show you what I have figured out before you go and buy a new opener. That being said, we're gonna talk first about the different air codes inside the unit. These screws have been in place for a long time. They're actually really long screws, so you wanna use a screw gun. What I'll suggest, if you're having issues with the bit head bouncing off of the actual machine screws, set your torque. And the idea there is that this is gonna act like an impact. Yeah. Step it up till it gets loose, then you can bump the torque till you get some more spin. So we can leave this hang on the hinges or we can pretty easily unhook it and it will hang from the clips for the light wiring. It's not a lot of tension, but that's not ideal. So let's take a second and get these out of the way. If the unit was still plugged in, the green status light right here is what's going to tell you what the issue is. Um, look in the description below. I'm gonna leave the link to Genie's website where it breaks these down. You have one flash, it's the motor drive board. If it's two flashes, it's the controller board. Three flashes is signaling that it's overheated or overcycled. Four is the force settings, so the up and down force needs to be adjusted. Five flashes is telling you there's an issue with the safety beams. Most of the time that means they're not aligned. Very easy fix. Six flashes, there's a problem with the wall console. Seven flashes, your limit switches are bad. Maybe you've got a short. If there's eight flashes, that's an indication that the wall unit has been switched to locked. If you are having trouble getting the door to raise, it may even go a couple of feet back and then stop and you get what sounds if i remember right like a machine gun noise it's the screw missing the teeth inside of the drive carriage these are 20 bucks or less um, again look in the description i'll give you the link for the actual part but i'm pretty sure i found this on amazon for 10 to 15 bucks i'll try to put another link to a video that i watched when i replaced mine so regardless of the issue you're having um, with your power off, now you absolutely have to have the power off. We're going to go through the little checks that will correct 99% of your problems. Um, power's off, board is exposed. We've got just a couple of things that many people have done and it's worked. First, in order to try to reset things and um, you know clean off contacts, we're going to remove the white plastic connector from what would be the controller board, the drive board. Don't really know. Take that off. I like to slide it in a couple of times just to make sure. This one's very difficult to get off. I had to loosen that before the video so I didn't look stupid. There's another ribbon up above. This here you can only remove from the top it comes out much more easily. Again, give that one a, maybe a wipe with your, your fingers or a uh, probably better to do something like a, a clean cloth, keep oils off of it. We can remove and make sure that the ground is making good contact. Uh, mine specifically is an eight millimeter. Uh, you'll wanna be real careful working through here to get to this if it's set up the same as mine because my wrench snapped off one of my adjustments for the uh, open and close force. That was unfortunate. Lastly, the only other thing I'm aware of that we can surf service ourselves is the fuse hiding back here. All right, we are gonna go ahead, make sure we keep stuff separate. Some people will put some uh, masking tape, electrical tape around these connections. I'm not too afraid of a little 120. Our power's back in, and right now we have no 
error lights flashing. So I'm gonna pull my power back out. Okay, we are closed up and it's safe to plug everything back in. Let's see how the garage door acts after being powered back on. So our first run is real slow. That's the learning mode. Now, if we can go up and back down one more time, we know everything is good. Now we're moving fast. And let's close it one last time. After all that, it's cleared out the air coats from my garage door. I'm confident that if you do the same, most of your problems are gonna be eliminated. If they're not, you're gonna need a new opener. Check the description, go to the comments, let me know what your door is doing, especially let me know if this worked out for you. Be sure and give it a like, subscribe, share, and check out some more of my videos.